Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Chris ICP and TV and I am Christian Rosabia. Today, I'll be going to, to show to you on how to convert binary to decimal and decimal to binary and vice versa because this is also one way for us to identify how certain things works in a binary, in a binary world where we can also have this decimal to binary and binary to decimal conversion. So, I hope that you'll have uh, enjoy watching and learning. So, let's jump to the PC and let's learn how to convert binary to decimal and decimal to binary and vice versa. So, we have here. So, in this way, if you're just new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and please do not skip the ads. That's Chris ICT and TV. And this time, welcome to binary to decimal conversion and vice versa. So, how are we going to solve this? How are we going to convert? So, always remember to have this way in binary to decimal conversion. Always remember that the digits in binary only involves 0 and 1. While in decimal, it involves 0 to 9. So, since we have decimal, this means 10. So, we have 0 to 9. And binary, we have 2. So, 0 and 1. So, let's have the next one. So, I have here my example. In this example, I'll be going to show to you on how to solve this. I have here a binary convert to decimal. So, how are we going to convert to decimal? So, always remember that we always have to start from the, from the right side to the left side. So, we have it here. We have problem number 1. 110010 binary convert to decimal. We have... We have to indicate uh, what are we going to see uh, that will depend upon how you're going to convert. So we have binary, that's 2, and 10 decimal. So we have to copy 0, copy the 1, copy the 0, copy the 0, copy the 1, and copy the 1. Now since we have, how many these do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so exactly 6. So we will now solve this part first the 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 0 is equals to 1 always remember that 2 to the power of 0 is equals to 1 so we have 2 to the power of 0 is 1 1 times 0 is 0 next we have 2 to the power of 1 is 2 2 times 1 is 2 2 to the power of 2 is 4 4 times 0 is 0 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 0, 0. We have 1 times 2 to the power of 4, 2 to the power of 4, 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 2, 16. 16 times 1, we have 16. And we have it here, 2 to the power of 5, so 2 to the power of 5, 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. 16 times 2, 32. So we have 32. So to get the answer of the binary to decimal digits, just add all the products from each digit. So we have to add 2 plus 16 is 18. 18 plus 30. So we have here 50. Uh, 32. So 18 plus 32, we have 50. So the answer is 50. That's already the answer now another example on how to, to solve such um, binary to decimal so we have it here again so we have to indicate here the exponent so we have to do 0 1 2 3 4 5 you can have a lot of more you can until 6 7 8 until so and so forth so just have here I just, I just only use six digits as an example, so we have it here as still 2 to the power of 0 times 0 is 0. 2 to the power of 1 times 1 is 2. 2 to the power of zero, 2 is 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 1, 8. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 4 times 2, 16. Times 0, so 0. We have the last is 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 1, 32. So now we will add 2 plus 8, 10 plus 2, 12. Carry 1, so we have 42. So we have 42 as our answer here. 
So then we got then we go and get how to convert binary to decimal. Now let's have this time um, since we are done with binary to decimal, let's move on to decimal to binary. So how to so decimal to binary, so always remember that, that an add number divided to two will always give decimal point. Instead, just write one to make it right to make it right as a remainder. If it's divisible to two, just write zero since there is no remainder. So how are we going to have it? Then we will have to solve with this. So we have so we have to here. So we have 75 decimal convert into binary so we have to we have it here 75 divided by 2 so we can have it here 37 because 37 times 2 is 74 the remainder is 1 so you have to indicate next we have 37 divided by 2 equals 18 18 times 2 is 36 plus 1 as the remainder so we have 37 next 18 divided by 2 is equals to 9 so no remainder next we have 9 divided by 2 equals to 4 so we have remainder 1 so as you can see, 75 is an add number, 37 is an add number, 9 is an add number. So therefore, you could always see a remainder of 1. Like 80 is an even number, so there is no remainder, so you can have zeros. Next, we have 4 divided by 2. We have 2, remainder is 0. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. No remainder. 1 divided by 2 is equals to 0 remainder 1 now how to get the final answer is always start from the bottom part until to the, the most significant most significant digit to the least significant digits so we have the most significant digits to the least significant digits so we have to start with the answer is 1 0 0 one zero one one now we got the correct answer now to the next part another example so we have it here so we have 104 decimal convert into binary so we have it here 104 so 104 divided by 2 is we have 52 so we have no remainder with us an even number 52 divided by 2 so we have 26 remainder 0 because that is an even number 26 divided by 2 we have 13 no remainder 13 divided by 2 is equals to 6 remainder 1 because 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 13 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3 remainder 0 3 divided by 2 we have 1 remainder 1 1 divided by 2 is equals to 0 remainder 1 now again we will start from the most significant to the least significant digits so we will start with 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 there it is so we are done having the decimal to binary okay so that's just all about how simple is to solve or convert binary to decimal and decimal to binary in this certain aspect of having the binary system to decimal system so 
it will be easier for you to solve it next time just always remember the pattern and how it is and how to solve it just always remember especially when we have this binary to decimal conversion and the decimal to binary conversion okay so thank you so much so okay so this time uh, i would like to to express my heartfelt thanks to my to my students especially to alexander to emmanuel de la cruz uh we're having this to told to to doctor of education candidate uh sir jan axel layasi cortez one of the proprietor the owner of the lctc review center and the j master publishing located bugos city cebu so if you just if you want to to pass the board examination the civil service examination this lctc review center is the best for you so what are you waiting for be an lpt enroll in at lctc so that's all for now thank you so much for listening uh, for listening guys and hope uh, i let you understand i let you learn a lot of things thank you so much have a good day bye bye